it's so good day my people we are back again to discuss another interesting topic that is, is going to impact positively in your life you understand and we are going to use bella and shares as an example so a lot of people are, are they not married by now we're supposed to see a wedding ring and all that so but there is something you know that occurred to me you understand on a second thought i said to myself you know and when i look at and i see a lot of uh, frustrated wife you understand you know people that are married imagine when somebody is married and praying to be single <laughs> it's really funny you know let me repeat this again imagine a married woman she's married and she's praying to be single again so <laughs> what does that mean it means that she's sick and tired of that marriage you understand so i'm going to use uh, bella and she as an example you understand so you know we have talked about any marriage you understand so when you go to church you know let me just say 95 percent of women in the church you know they are praying for a husband you understand when men are praying for money that is just the truth there so but when praying for a husband is you there are some certain things you have to put it in consideration you understand it's not just about i want to get married god i need a husband i need a husband no remember a single lady is, is better than a frustrated wife you understand stop looking at your age as a woman maybe you are 30 or 35 or 40 you crying that i need a husband any kind of man any man whether he's rich or no whether he's a believer or unbeliever no let me tell you your age doesn't matter when it comes to marriage you understand what you should be considering is what can i offer what can i provide what can i contribute in that marriage if finally the husband should come because some of you are not even ready you are not ready when you are planning to have a husband so if the husband should come what are you going to provide as a woman that is why some men will end up treating you like a trash because you are only there to receiving you are not adding and men sometimes in fact 90 percent of men add hate stress a woman that only is receiving not adding this is just the truth you understand first of all before you can you know say i need a husband there are some things you need to know there are some questions you need to ask yourself am i well established as a woman i'm sure some of you don't even ask me about this somebody have asked question and said that i don't have a work i'm married to a rich man this man is a politician and uh, i don't work i'm just at home and the man doesn't have respect for me and she asked me why i told her the truth because you are jobless yes because you don't work the fact that your husband has more doesn't mean that you should not go out and work even if you are you know you just to go and say biscuit in the morning you go out and if you come out your husband will vary she will respect you he will respect you yes this question came from uh uh which this the question came from uh from uh canada yes 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 yeah, from canada yeah you know that's the things we see in this this especially in nigeria africa our mentality towards marriage in africa especially in nigeria is 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 so unbearable is 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 a you know it's unthinkable you understand how can you be praying for a husband but when you look at him you don't even have a handwork you don't even you know you don't even, i don't know you cannot even offer anything and you are praying to have a husband your age doesn't matter see let me tell you do you know that a 21 years old girl can get married as long as she's established if a 19 years old can still get married it's not about you know knowing what you can offer to that marriage so because tomorrow you tomorrow is not promised something might happen to your husband and uh, if you are not if you are not doing anything how do you think that you are going to take care of the the, the children yes tomorrow is not promised you cannot be sure of tomorrow it is death is inevitable it can come anytime no matter how careful you think you are it can come so that's why you need to prepare yourself 
So back to what we are talking about. So I want to encourage you as a woman out there who have been looking for a husband and all that. Stop stressing yourself or in the name of I want a husband, I want to look at Bella and shares. A lot of people have been pressurizing them, you know, why is it that our shares is not a youth and not yet get married and all that. So and they, there's something Bella post long time ago. You understand? So I, I can't really remember the post, but let me just try it if I can, you know, figure that she said that uh, she's not in a hurry to get married and all that. And I think I picked a point there. You understand? She's not even bothered. She just focused on her brand, you know, you know, a, a trying to, you know, make a name for herself. So let me tell you, when your time comes, definitely you get married. Stop looking at your age, whether you are 40, 50, 55, it doesn't matter. When your own marriage will come, it will be as if no marriage has ever been done. Your own marriage will be the talk of town. All you need to do, focus on, you know, establishing yourself. First, work on your character, work on your attitude, work on your financial life, work on every area of your life. Get prepared. In fact, uh, I want to man said when a preparation meets with success, it it will result into something very, 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 you know, very nice. You understand? When you prepare yourself and the opportunity comes, it will result to success. Imagine that you are prepared now, and the husband comes. Definitely, when you jump into the marriage, trust me your marriage is going to be a successful one but when you are not prepared and the husband comes no <laughs> definitely you get married but what are you going to offer that is the question you know someone said to me uh, 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 i'm is it 35 years and uh, i'm having a heartbreak and all that uh, any man that comes close to me the person will disappoint me and all that she said she's trying to you know she's trying to turn into a spiritual problem some things are not spiritual you know some people stop running to church you are looking for a husband some things are not spiritual there are some certain things we have to deal with our common sense you understand yes they are coming close to you and they are, they are disappointing and all that i asked the woman the, the girl what do you do for a living she said uh, 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 after my secondary school uh, there's no money to further uh, uh, in fact I'm not doing anything I said you're not doing anything and uh, you expect a man to stay with you <laughs> she told me no a young pastor told her that uh, she has a, a, a spiritual problem a spiritual husband and that's why she's experiencing her, uh, disappointment I told her are you okay are you normal are you talking with your right senses you know no any any responsible man will not like to stay with you because you are just going to that marriage to to give him more stress because you don't have anything doing she said no no i have a spiritual and i said no it's, it's better you start working on all these things look for something and start doing get busy and when the man will see that you are busy you are responsible you are focused the man will put more attention towards you because any man that comes to you find out that you are not doing it you are just receiving maybe you are just asking them for money every time money for this money for that you know and they will tell you is when they will make their decision and say no i cannot marry this person because even if i should end up marrying you you are just coming to my house to be debiting my bank account you are not crediting and man hate it when a woman only is debiting they are not crediting <laughs> You understand? Don't look at your age. Age doesn't matter. Work on yourself first. Be established first. That is what matters. It is better for you to be to be alone, you know, to be single than to be a frustrated wife. A single lady is better than a frustrated wife. So many it has we have so many frustrated wives all over the world today. If I begin to tell you how many people that report to me, you know, saying that eh, eh, I saw your your your, your video, I, in fact I love it, I want I, I need the advice, I need this, I need that. See let me tell you, it is not easy. 
you understand it is not easy so marriage is a journey that before you travel you need to ask those who have traveled to know what the journey is all about you don't just sleep and wake up and say i want to get married i want to get i want to do this i want to do that like i said your age doesn't matter even if you are 20 you can still get married but the question is are you established that is the question love is not enough to keep your marriage let me tell you this we are going to treat this maybe in our next topic but let me just tell you a little of it love cannot keep your marriage love doesn't keep marriage in fact let me tell you you don't even know i want to say this do you know that love is something that you know have love have deceived some of us here you understand one woman from uh, south africa said that uh, uh, i love my husband in fact i gave him my hundred percent heart and at the end of the day the, the the man left me to another woman after everything the love i've showered and you know i don't know that do you know that no love is not enough evidence that your husband will not leave you love doesn't keep marriage that is not the truth yes love is not enough you know a love reasons for you to say that this my husband will not leave me but i don't want to go further to this i'm going to explain today give you details of why i say that love cannot keep your marriage you understand so please keep pulling us and uh, i'm going to this i'm going to also uh, we have a group also and uh, a, some of us are in that group it is called defined your relationship or marriage you know we have uh, may about uh, you know millions of followers in that group so if you're interested to join you know i think i'm very soon i'm going to drop my number for you to add us on our whatsapp group where you can you know you know drop your your issues ask questions see just we are one big family whatever issues you are having in your family you can just drop it and uh, you know our ladies will be there to answer your questions you know, from different people different countries and all that so trust me if you do this if you follow this step you have a successful marriage so look at bella and shares they are the best now a lot of people are talking about them different content they, they you know they are not succumbing to their pressure they are taking their time to put some certain things in order before they can get married that is how it's supposed to be you understand so don't don't rush into marriage you as a a, a woman take your time work on yourself first that is just the truth all right thank you and god bless please if you have any question to drop on a comment section please feel free